is News Channel 8 at 6. There's only one school in the entire state of Wisconsin that has it, and GET Middle School wants it. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News Channel 8 at 6 tonight. I'm Mike Thompson. It's called the One to One Laptop Program. It would allow every student at GET Middle School to have their own school issued laptop 24 hours a day, seven days a week throughout the school year. Lisa joins us now with a special assignment education report on why the district feels the program is necessary. Mike, the only school in the state of Wisconsin that offers the one-to-one -one program is a middle school in Kenosha, Wisconsin. They've had the program for a couple of years and it's been a success. As technology becomes more integrated into our lives and livelihoods, this is the road GET Middle School would like to take. In tonight's assignment education report, we'll tell you about some advantages and disadvantages of the program. One laptop for every student in the Galesville Ettrick Trempolo Middle School. That's the hope of GET administrators and some teachers. Right now, not all our students have computers at home, so it puts them at a disadvantage where, the, where they have to use the technology at school. And if that technology is busy, they're not able to get their work done in a, a reasonable amount of time. Currently, GET Middle School has one hardwired computer lab and a mobile computer cart which holds 25 laptops. But as one teacher explains, sharing 50 computers among 200 kids can be challenging. There's a computer class during the first and second blocks of the day. So they are in the lab. And then there's the mobile cart that's available. And so we can sign up for that. You have to sign up in advance. Otherwise, if you get here and somebody's already signed up, you don't get to use the computers that day. The one-to-one -one laptop program would eliminate this problem, as well as level the playing field for students without a home computer. With the one-to-one -one laptop program, they will have that technology avail available to them at all times, both at home and at school. So there won't be the need for teachers to schedule the lab or the mobile cart. They'll just be able to say, students, take your computers out and turn them on and let's go. One of the disadvantages to the program that has been discussed is what will happen to the laptops when they go home. During site visits to schools that have the one-to-one -one program, GET teachers found that students took a lot of care and pride in having their own computer. They totally devoted themselves to maintaining that computer and not having to give it to the lab to have somebody fix it or um, change out a battery or anything. Of course, the big question in this proposal is funding. The laptop program costs about $1,000 per student. Next year, there will be 320 students in the new middle school, totaling $320,000 in student laptop costs alone. Because we are in a building uh, project right now, we have some money set aside for technology in the budget itself. So that would give us a little jump, but we just need a, a additional monies from the school board. If they receive the funding from the school board, it is possible that every student at GET Middle School could get their own school-issued laptop becoming only the second district in Wisconsin to offer such a program to its students. We don't schedule a time to use your pencil. Why should we have to schedule a time to use technology? The GET Middle School principal is hoping the school board will make a decision on the issue during their April or May board meeting. And obviously money, a big question here. What happens if the board doesn't approve the funding for this program? Yeah, well, school administrators gave um, the school board four options. Their number one option, of course, is this laptop program that we just showed you. Um, the fourth option being keeping exactly the type of technology they have now, which is one hardwired computer lab and then one mobile cart for each grade level. So that's what they're hoping. All right. They're hoping for the first option, which is the laptop program. Absolutely. We'll have to wait and see what happens.